Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly, and today we're going to go do uh, mixed media, and it's on Fun Foam. A handful of you guys have emailed me over the past few months about using different substrates or bases to do mixed media, and I was asked about Fun Foam, and you guys know I love me some Fun Foam, so that's what we're using. This is just very thin Fun Foam you can get at the dollar store as well as your craft stores. And we are going to make a mixed media background. I'm showing you those pieces. I got those at the uh, craft store. Uh, so, and somebody sent me some of those as well. Very easy. So all I'm doing is taking my Matte Mod Podge and I am gluing down paper, any kind of paper you can get. I always tell you guys go to the craft store and you can get... Uh, Look at all the clearance for five cents, ten cents. You can get a couple pieces there. I'm using very basic pieces, uh, not many different ones. Um, and you can go at your dollar store as well. They have them in their craft section. So it doesn't matter what the background is. Um, I'm just going in and I grab some paper and I am gluing it down with my matte Mod Podge. Of course, if you don't have matte Mod Podge, use your white school glue uh, or gel medium or whatever you have. It all works. Try to make it matte. Uh, it, because we're going to be painting over it. But of course, if you don't have matte and you only have glossy, I would just water it down the tiniest bit to water down that gloss a bit and I would use it anyway. So as you can see, I'm just, I'm laying it down, baby, laying it down. And this is so exciting um, to use. I'm going to show you how to strengthen, strengthen the matte a little bit as well. But I want you to know that the more we glue on it, the uh, stronger it's going to be, so it won't be as flimsy. So that's very exciting. Now I'm going to try something here, which I don't think is going to work uh, because it's on the phone, but I wanted to try it. It is getting text off of these pages. Now you'll see it doesn't work, and it's because it's on foam, but I will be doing this on paper uh, later on today as a tip uh, because it's a lot of fun, and you can do it with... Uh, this is just books, book text. Uh, you can get books at your library. They're always throwing away books that are beat up. You can get it at the dollar store, any book, or, you know, uh, if you're done reading the book, use that. Um, you know, unless you're like my husband and have to hold on to every single book, him and my daughter, that they read. I'm somebody who reads it once and I'm done. Not them. They'll read it over and over. So, um, but hey, teach their own but you'll see here it's not working it ripped up my thing and that's because of the foam no big deal I don't give up I just keep moving on baby keep on keeping on and I just glue the stuff back down I'm not you know I mean things happen if I don't try and experiment or if you don't try and experiment you'll never know so uh you see I'm just doing it and throwing it down and I'm throwing some of that glue on top of everything to kind of give it a good seal, you know. Um, I love how this came out. I just love it. And uh, I'm going to put at the end of this video, the uh, last video part of the video uh, where I talk live. Uh, not live, but, you know, I don't do a speed over. And uh, you guys will see that. We'll see if I'm going to do that. I don't know. I'm going to try to edit that together. All right, now... Here goes what everybody hates when I do it. It is licorice from folk art. It's black. And watch what I do. Watch what I do. Here I go. Here I go. Here I go. And everybody's going to go, no, unless you've been with me for a while. And you guys are like, yes, yes, yes. I'm going to take an old, that is an old ATC card, not an old ATC card, but a background that I did. But you can use your old credit cards, gift cards, you know, but in case you don't, use cardboard. Use a, you know, whatever you got that's strong. And now I'm spraying water on it. I just scraped it around. You can use your brush if you want, but I'm being fancy because I'm fancy. And you can see now I'm wiping it all over the background. And that's why pretty much a lot of it doesn't really matter uh, what color you use because it's just having fun. And now I'm, I sprayed it a couple times and now I'm wiping it off with a paper towel. And look at the difference, how it just muted everything, pushed everything into the background, which I love. Got to wipe up my mess, which you can see I just smeared it. And um, a little bit more water on certain parts that maybe you want to bring forward more. You know, you want to take more of that black off. And there we go. And then if you don't have dark, gross, painty hands all the time, then you just don't like getting paint on you, which some people don't. <laughs> I don't mind. And you can see it's you know, a little sturdier, still a little flimsy, not a big deal. We're going to fix all that. So 
uh, you know, I blew it dry. Be careful when you blow it dry, though, with your heat gun, uh, because you can melt the fun foam a little bit. So keep it for far away. Uh, or you can use your hair dryer or get your hair dryer from the thrift store. And if not, just let it dry. It, it isn't going to hurt anything. Leave it dry for five minutes. And then I took the color Baby Pink from Americana and smeared it on there. And look at that brightness. I used the card again. Oh, deliciousness. Now I'm using yellow uh, satin from Martha Stewart, which is Jonquil, which is yellow. <laughs> but it's a nice pale yellow, and I really dig it. And I'm scraping it on. And I'm turning the backgrounds all over the place, so, you know, different ways. So you get different, different strokes, baby. And, uh, you know, because it takes different strokes. It takes different strokes. You know what I'm saying? And I'm drawing it because I don't want it to blend too much when I go on to add this delicious green that I love. Granite Smith from Martha Stewart Satin. And these are multi-surface. But look, if you don't have multi-surface, don't worry. Be happy. And I'm not scraping this right now. I am, pat see what I'm doing? I'm using it as just texture, right? I'm just using the side of it and doing boink, boink, boink. Fantastic. Now I'm going to scrape just a little bit. Not a big deal, but you see how that added extra texture. This is a beautiful abstract when it's done. And I'm drawing it again. Now I'm going to use, um, you're going to see me in the, in the next segment, in a, in a few minutes, using tape around the sides. Because, um, and then you can paint over it. Uh, because it's just going to give you a little bit more structure. And that's why I'm going to put the last uh, part in. Um, now I'm showing you here, I'm not using this as it, but that's like washi tape, but I'm not going to use that because that's my strong, that's my good glittery one. So I'm going to get uh, washi tape. Now I'm going to do this fun transfer, okay? And I'm going to take my uh, clear packing tape and a piece of book text, all right? And all I'm going to do is put a piece of tape on it. And as you can see, I burnished it down. And now I'm spraying it. So again, you take your piece of uh, tape, you put it on your piece of text, you burnish it, you know, you get make it so it's sealed and then, you know, so it's stuck on there good. Then spray water on the paper side and you can see what happens is it starts taking that backing off and you get delicious transparent text. And you, you know, you keep working on it till you get all those little, I call them paper boogers, you call them whatever you want, paper pieces. And there you go. Look at that. How cool. Look at that. And then I'm just going to take my uh, matte Mod Podge and I'm going to glue it on. I'm going to decide where. And then I couldn't find it where I wanted it as transparent. So what I did was took a little more of the Jonquil yellow, which you're going to see, and just put a little bit down there. And I'm just going to make it a little more um, opaque. So, you know, and then I wipe it off with a little paper towel. It gives it a little texture too. And then you dry it. And because I want that text to come come through, you know what I'm saying? And now I'm going to put my Mod Podge down, put my tape down, which isn't sticky anymore because obviously it's on the paper that we took off and then seal it with the matte Mod Podge. And what's wonderful is it's clear when it dries. So you're going to see that deliciousness, deliciousness. So I'm going to add the rest on right here. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I used painter's tape and washi tape just to make around the um, the border. So I already did, you know, one side of each just because it was easier. So I'm going to take my washi tape. This can be washi tape of any kind. You can see this kind of matches it, the green. Um, but if you don't have something that matches it, don't worry about it. You can always paint it. And all I do is I take a piece of the washi tape. And let me just move my stuff out of here. And you lay it. Now you can measure and all, and I'm not into the measuring thing, but I just lay it and I want some to overhang, but I just lay it, you know, down on there and I give it a push all the way to the edge. Now you can be, uh, you know, you can go around with all the same. You don't have, I'm just doing this for demo, but you know what I'm saying? And I'm going to lift this up. I'm going to turn it over. And you'll see here's the rest of my tape. I like to uh, fold it up and then I like to kind of 
make sure I do it in the middle first and then push out and then push out this way. And then I just take my scissors and give it a chop a chop where it hangs over. You could be fancy. It doesn't matter. I'm all about uh, whatever you want to do as long as you do something right. And then turn it this way and I will use the blue and this is just painter's tape. You can get it very inexpensively even at the dollar store where I live. And um, so, you know, you can, and you can also get washi tape at the dollar store as well. And then I will, um, oh, this way, Kel. I was like, why doesn't it look right? And then I will lay it on the edge here. Again, you can make sure that it's all on point. And then I like to do there and push and there and push. Nothing is fantastical. It is just what it is. And then I just trim them off if there's any extra. And you can see then you have um, your ends. So it makes it a little more sturdy. But I know, I know, I know. If now this really makes a difference, this can almost if you laminate it, you can use it as a um, uh, what's those things you put on your table placemat. So you can see it definitely is. And you can see that it also kind of bubbled up a little bit from uh, the heat gun, which is no big deal. I like the texture. But you can see this really does make it sturdier. If you want to make it even sturdier, you can take any type, uh, any type of paint you want, tape you want. Um, and I would I'd go the middle. You could back the whole thing. But I would probably do it in thirds or whatever you want to do. Maybe you want to do this. Maybe you don't. But you see what I'm saying? I'm just going to show you just real quick. And this is the back. You know. Okay. Ugh, come on, tear there. Tear. Why won't you tear for me? All right. And you see, you could do it this way. It doesn't matter. Just add in a little extra. And then go ahead and cut it off, cut it off, and you can save these. These can even be used on the mixed media itself. Be careful you don't cut your foam because that can happen, but this is just an extra. This isn't necessarily, so you can see I cut right there, but I can put more um, tape on there if I want. Okay. All right, so put these here. And you can see I cut there a little bit, but guess what? It's all right. I'm gonna just put a little bit more tape on there, just, you know, in case you do. Nothing is destroyed. Don't ever feel like, well, you know it's destroyed is I can't find the end of this washi tape, which is a problemo of mine. That's why all my washi tape's messed up because I just cut. I cut a piece. Let's see. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. And then all I'm going to do is just take a little piece of it and put it there where it was cut and then fold it over. And you will never know. You'll never know. Magical, Kelly, magical. Okay, so that is where we are with that. Let me move this over here. Now you can see I put that tape on the back, um, and you can continue taking it all over wherever you want it. It doesn't matter, uh, but it definitely is much sturdier, even just with the uh, outside parts, right? Okay, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right. So, oh, focus is going in and out. Let's take focus off. Now, this is beautiful just the way it is. You don't have to put much on top uh, if you don't want. This is perfectly fine as an abstract like this, but wonder if we want to put something on top. What would you like to put on top? First, decide what way you're going to make it go. Are we going to just leave it like this? Do you want to leave it and do it? this way, which if I move my camera out a minute, we can do it this way, which is really cool. You can do it obviously this way and then obviously that way. 
So first decide what you want to do. And I think, I think I'm going to do it this way. I think I am. <coughs> what do you want to put on it? Do you want to draw? Do you want it to be creepy? Do you want it to be, uh, you know, what do you want? Um, you could put something as simple as flowers. And I'm going to show you. I grabbed these to show you. Okay, these are just flowers you get from Michaels or uh, AC Moore, wherever you go. Wherever you go. And you can definitely use these flowers in all kinds of different colors. These are the delicious flowers, excuse me, that I made from, um, which I'm actually going to make in a ring, but uh, I made from the uh, collage clay. See that? Or you can make it out of uh, the um, mod mouse, you know, whatever, whatever you want, whatever you want, which I'm going to do that on another date. We're going to make that into jewelry. But do you see now four of these flowers come in a package? I think they're like a buck 99 or something, but you definitely, cause you get different shades. Do you see what I'm saying? You could put two, three, you can just put one in the middle. You really can, you know, play with that and, and make it something that turns into something pretty and uh, not something uh, so much dark if you don't want it dark. But I know a lot of people don't have those. You want to go darker. You know, my favorite baby doll face I just have here staring at me because I like to put it on things. You can do that. And then we can, like, take black and, like, smear it out towards the uh, sides and that kind of thing, which makes it look delicious as well. Um, you could draw a face. You could draw, a, you know, whatever. I don't know what I want to do because I'm digging this background and I'm really lost. So... Since we did this, and this was requested to make a uh, mixed media background with the foam, let me know down below. Let me know down below if it's going to snow, because I don't know. All right, look, look. All right. Anyway, I'm probably going to do a voiceover anyway. Um, but yeah, so uh, let me know. Let me know what you guys think would be good. Um, I'm trying to debate. I'm trying to debate. Um, you can call me Donald or Hillary. Don't give me hate. Oh my God. I got to keep this end in. I swear. Um, anyway, <laughs> well, that's where we're at. So let me know what you guys think. I'm happy, uh, doing whatever way I have these little, these little molds, you know, but I think it's too, too, too much of a brighter color. I don't necessarily want to make it so dark. So I don't know. Or we could just paint on it. So let me know. Let me know what you guys think. And what you guys think of this. Let me know. Tag me. Uh, email me. You know the whole spiel. All my info is down below. Let me know what you guys think about this on the foam. I hope this helped you. You can make mixed media on anything. And I will gladly do more if you want me to do more. Um, this was a very basic with just paper and paint. There's not much... Uh, there's no stamping or, you know, you don't have to have too many supplies to do this. Um, and look at it. Look how awesome. And like I said, we can put anything we want on top of it. We could draw on it. We could paint on it. We can um, glue things to it. We can do whatever we want. Um, something else that would be really cool is if, and this is just, let me just say this. Uh, we'll maybe tear this for a minute. This is just a piece that we used. But let's say, and this might not be the best piece to use in there. I don't know what I would use. I would have to figure it out. Maybe a very light yellow. Anyway, you see this? We could, it's obviously torn funky, and that's okay. You could glue this down, and you could um, decorate this by itself, glue it down, and that's your main. Do you know what I'm saying? And then this becomes your frame, main frame, almost Cal. Um, do you see what I'm saying? So well, you could do anything on here. You could do another mixed media piece on here and put it in here or just leave it color, whatever you want. Um, so there's a lot that you can do. So let me know down below. If you guys want to, uh, what I should put on here and let me know if you guys do anything like this. I would love, love, love to see it. And please share me around like I'm your loose friend. 
for people who might not know uh, anything about me or what I do, I would appreciate uh, you sharing me out there. And this is a great beginner project for people who are just into mixed media, do not have a lot of uh, money or supplies. And these are very inexpensive. You can get it all at the dollar store. So let me know what you guys think. As always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. I love you guys so very much. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.